45 year old man with pain in the right elbow for about a month, uh, really just kind of tennis elbow. Here's a model of this procedure here. We're looking at the elbow from an anterior perspective. You can see the capsule and you can see the brachioradialis extensor, carpi radialis longus, and then you've got the extensor carpi radialis brevis, and then you have extensor digitorum, extensor digiti minimi, and extensor carpi ulnaris. And also you can see anconius muscle and the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle as well with the Osborne fascia just proximal to that. And we just made some of the common extensor tendon thickened, consistent with tendinosis. Now we're starting the procedure. This is an implant approach, fenestrating in line with the tendon fibers. And now we're rotating our probe into an axial plane. This is an ataplane approach. And we're also making the probe and most of the musculature translucent. We can see the underlying ligaments underneath the extensor musculature. Here we are going again, continuing with our needle fenestration, trying to also break up some of that calcification within the common extensor tendon as well. And towards the end of the procedure, we actually did an in-plane approach again. Here we're zooming in on the common extensor tendons and we're injecting saline within that tendonotic portion of this common extensor tendon and into those calcifications as well. First clip, right side is distal, you can see the lateral of the condyle, you can see the common extensor tendon and sir. So here we're looking at, I believe, the radial aspect of the common extensor tendon it looks fairly normal in this view. Ulnar aspect, you can see some calcification, some thickening of the common extensor tendon. And as you go ulnar, you can see this dark signal consistent with tendinosis and probably intrasubstance tearing as well as calcification. Probably where his pain is, so it does have some findings consistent with that. Now we're going to do some um, axial views. On the right side is ulnar. So here again, we'll get the lateral epicondyle, and now we can see that black zone with some of that calcification. Here again is that point calcification within the common extensor tendon with some surrounding tendinosis and intrasubstance yeah. tearing. Here you can appreciate the extensor carpi radialis longus muscle in addition to the brachioradialis muscle. So we talked about options. Uh, my preference was PRP, but he's not quite ready for that. So we're just going to fenestrate the tendon and inject some lidocaine. I don't think cortisone is really it's kind of out of favor these days, especially if you may have some partial tearing and may make it worse. So we're just going to try to fenestrate it, elicit, elicit some blood in that region, hopefully help with some healing. Right Here you can see the needle on the right side of the screen. There is some school of thought that if you actually kind of tickle the bone and the periosteum, it may elicit more of a healing response. So we're getting pretty close to the bone here. Um, do a little axial view. You can appreciate here an axial view. Um, this is good to kind of orientate yourself from a anterior or posterior perspective to know exactly what part of the tendon you're fenestrating. You want to see that bright dot go in and out of view. That means you're essentially looking at the needle tip. Now we're going back to our long axis view of the needle. You can see all the injectate, which is that bright hyperechoic signal within the tendon, which is basically some air within the saline uh, and lidocaine that we injected.